in tight here with the first pitch fastball that's 1-0. The Phil sporting the throwback unis in this one. Oh, yeah. All we need is the faded artificial turf in the cookie-cutter stadium, and we'll be in business. And now a pitch on the way. And he holds up here, but the pitch is a cold strike anyway. Just getting started here in Philly. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and it's one and two. Well, nothing fancy. Three fastballs so far in this at bat. He could go just about anywhere from here. And here's a swing, and another chance out there is short. Up with it is Rollins. And a throw over to Howard, and that's the second out. Well, with two strikes, you've got to protect up there, even on a curveball that's a borderline strike. But he could only manage to get this one off the end of his bat, and it winds up being a simple little ground out. Ryan Zimmerman will get his first opportunity now. Now here's a swing, and would you believe it? A third straight ground ball to short. Throw on to the first baseman, Howard, and with that, the side is retired. So a spotless top of the first for Cole Hamill. Now it'll be the Phillies' turn. No score. Starting lineup for the Phillies is there on your screen. They'll match up against an imposing presence indeed. The number one overall pick in 2009, hard-throwing right-hander Steven Strasburg. Here's how Washington will take the field behind him. Ready to go now in the home half of inning number one as shortstop Jimmy Rollins makes his way toward the box. Fast ball, probably could have gone either way, but ruled a ball, 1-0. and oh. And a swing by Rollins, and this is on the ground out to short. Throw on to first, and one shortstop grounds out to the other, one away. So with one away, you get a good look there from above at Citizens Bank Park in Philadelphia. As you can see, the dimensions listed in the bottom corner of your screen, 330 down the line and left, 374 to left center. 401 straight away, a reasonable 369 for those left-handed hitters in the power rally, and 329 down the line in right. Ben Revere will get his first cuts here. Called strike on the corner. He didn't like that call. I don't blame him. Of course, one of the huge storylines last year, the call to shut down Steven Strasburg in September. EK, a good decision or no? I understood what they were doing, but it would have made sense if they were a team that was going to finish 20 and a half games back like they did in 2011, but this was a team that was a legitimate threat to win it all. I just think it could have been handled better. Now a ball hit in the air, but in play perhaps down the line. 
And that will end up a foul ball. Here's the pitch. And a breaking ball runs in and gets him. And I doubt there was any intent behind that. Mm, and you can tell by the expression on his face that he's in some pain down there. And he may need to come out of this ball game. Lance Nix will come on now to replace him as he's in to pinch run following the injury. So a runner on first with one out now. And making his way in is the second baseman, Chase Utley. Runner goes. Swing and a ground ball to first. And he'll take this over to the bag for the out. But meanwhile, the runner moves into scoring position at second. Yeah, and here with the runner who's on the move, you've got no chance of even thinking about getting the double play. So a smart idea there just to take the sure out at first. Ryan Howard will stand in here for the first time, looking to pick up that runner from second with two away here. And he waves at a curveball there. No balls and a strike. Missed low and inside with it, one and one. And he pumps the fastball by him here, one and two now. Well, if you're going to beat this guy, it's probably going to have to be up. You know, when he's at the knees like that or lower, especially with the fastball, he's tough to hit. Decent lead at second. Here's the pitch. In the third here, but Suzuki's able to keep it in front of him. Now a fastball as he just reared up and let that one fly, and the inning is over. Phillies turned away their first time around. On to inning number two from Citizens Bank Park. No score. Lance Nix will stay in the ball game as he takes over in center. Adam LaRoche leads things off now in the top half of the second. Hit on the ground towards first. And the big fella just takes it to the bag himself for the first down. And standing in now is a guy who was such a key member of the Phil's run to the World Series in 2008 and 2009, their former All-Star Jason Wirth. First pitch here misses wide, 1-0. And he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. No score here as we play inning number two. The 1-1 one -one on its way to Worth. There's a swing and a ball lifted to left, but back in the seats, out of play. It's one and two. To two balls and two strikes now. And a swing and a miss as they caught him reaching that time, and there are two away. 
We'll take another look at the sequence here on Showtrack. Now, as we watch, notice that it's all hard stuff through the first four pitches. But then on pitch number five, he finally turns to something off speed, and that leaves the hitter with no chance. Ian Desmond will stand in here, looking to keep the inning alive with two gone now in the top of the second. First pitch of the at-bat is lifted in the air out to left. Brown is in his tracks now as he tucks this one away to retire the side. The former Gaucho Michael Young will start things out when we come back. We'll go to the bottom of the second, no score. There now is Michael Young. He'll start things out here in a tie ball game. And here's a called strike to the 36 year old veteran. It's nothing and one. Now the pitch. And a good swing there by Young, but this is pulled a bit too much as it'll find the seats out of play. Now an off-speed pitch well inside, and it forces him to bounce away from danger. Good change up right there, down in the strike zone. Definitely the one they wanted to strike him out on, so that's a great job to lay off. He'll try again, one, two. Fastball swung on and missed for the first out. Well, when you have the kind of fastball he does, you almost don't have to worry about location. I mean, that thing's tough to hit wherever you put it. So the bases are empty with one man gone, and that will bring in the center fielder, Delman Young. Just off the outside, and it's 1-0. and Out of play off to the right, it's 1-1. One and one. 